Right now, he's performing for free. Right for you, ladies and gentlemen. That guy over there? Oh, God, I'll beat him. Yay, make some more noise, damn it. You're not at work. What's up, Hip Fest? Who likes weed? I love weed. I smoke a, I smoke a whole lot of weed. I sweat hash oil. I can't play basketball with hippies. Someone always ends up with a butter knife. Quit scraping me, fucker. It's good to be here. I drove up from Sacramento. Didn't get pulled over one time. That's nice. Right? I get pulled over a lot. You feel me? Cops can't even wait. They don't even have a reason. I can see them making shit up on the way to my car. I'll be driving somewhere. Just, woo! Uh, uh, you know. We want to make sure your headlights work. Man, it's 12 noon. Well, you can't be too safe. Yeah, well, I just ate all my weed. How safe is that? You feel me? I'm on a two-week tour. I got a rash stick program in effect. He just messed it all up, right? I'm on rations. I got my old people pill boxes. This is my Monday weed. This is my Tuesday weed. You know where I'm coming from? Some of you don't talk about. I smoke a lot of weed. Weed has taught me a lot. I'm a good cook thanks to marijuana. Right? I don't have any money. I will invent shit to eat. Every day at my house is like an episode of Chopped. Right? If we got Bisquick and peanut butter, we got peanut butter rolls coming in 10 to 12 minutes. I looked in the pantry one time. We had marshmallows, margarine, and top ramen. I'm making ramen treats. And they were hella good. Don't use the flavor packet. That'll mess it up. It's not savory. Some of you know what I'm talking about. I love marijuana, and I don't just sit around and talk about marijuana. I'm a weed activist. You have to be active, all right? Don't just come out to Hemp Fest. Go hard for weed. Go hard for marijuana. When they tried to pass Proposition 19 two, year, two years ago in California, I went hard. I went door to door in my neighborhood, right? Like a weed hover's witness. I have some good news about marijuana. Can I share it with you? Oh, I'd like to talk to you about my personal relationship with weed. Do you have a few moments? Good morning, have you accepted pot in your life? I have some papers here. Right, I love weed. If I was in a gang, this would be my gang sign. You feel me? Who you roll with? Oh, I roll with everybody, dog. I'll twist it up left-handed on a ski lift in a blizzard at night, you understand? You gotta have hobbies. I smoke weed everywhere. Everywhere, on the golf course. Yes, I like to golf. Black people should golf every day. Anytime you can hit white balls with a stick. Did I mention I get pulled over for bullshit? Did I mention that? Straight to the golf course. Headlights. <laughs> and nobody cares. I used to try to hide my weed on the golf course, but now I don't give a shit. I live in California. I have a letter from my doctor. If you're going to have a cigar and a whiskey, I'm going to have a blunt and a Diet Coke and everybody's gonna have a good time. And nobody says shit to me. One time I offered a dude a hit of my joint, right? Some random middle-aged white dude that I paired up with. I fired up a doobie on the third hole. I was like, hey man, you want a hit? He's like, no, thank you, but do you have any crap? <laughs> what? Who smokes crack on the golf course? That doesn't help your swing. You gave me a... Right? Weed and golf makes sense. Crack and golf don't make sense. You need the right drugs for the right activities is my point. Don't do crank and try to go to a chess tournament. Right? Don't do a bu bunch of mushrooms and try to run a marathon. What do you mean I'm off course? This whole planet is off course. I see through the whole thing, brother. Why am I wearing a number? You can't run a marathon on mushrooms. It would take you three days. Laughing and crying the whole time. <laughs> crying because your feet hurt. Laughing because you're happy to have feet. <laughs> I got a new CD for sale. It's called Weed and Sex. I got CD uh, download stickers for sale. After, if you see me, if you'd like to help. Because uh, gas is $4 a gallon. And I drove up here and shit because I didn't want to fly. Because sometimes I forget I have weed on me. <laughs> you know, I'm the only one. If I think I'm out of weed, I clean my car. First, I call my friends and take bets. The over-under is a gram and a half. <laughs> Some of you know what I'm talking about. Some of you know. Some of you are careful about it. I forget. I smoke a lot of weed. I come from a long line of weed smokers. My name is Ungayo. Pretty sure my folks smoke weed. What are we going to name the kid? Ungayo. <laughs> my name could just be... <laughs> 
They probably couldn't spell it. What was I talking about? We uh, Studies have shown that marijuana can actually help alleviate the symptoms and the onset of Alzheimer's disease. Right? It's true. The way it works is you get so used to forgetting shit, you develop a system. So when the Alzheimer's kicks in, you don't even notice. You just think you're high, which is not a bad way to live, right? It's not a bad way to live thinking you're high. You be nice to people. You make good food. Right? Marijuana makes me a better parent. I don't beat my children. I'll talk to them three or four hours. They probably wish I would hit them. They're probably like, man, are you still talking? Jesus, can I get a beat? Wrap it up. You guys know weed used to be legal until 1937, right? The founding fathers, Jefferson, Washington, all those guys, they used to grow it, they used to smoke it. The Declaration of Independence was originally written on hemp paper, hemp, marijuana, right? Better paper than trees, better fabric than cotton, and you can smoke it and talk about shit. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> Write that down. We'll forget, don't forget. That's why John Hancock's signature was so big, because he was high as hell, that's why. Hell yeah, I'll sign that shit. Look, one foot. Ugh. Cock. You have to be high as hell to fly a kite in a thunderstorm. Ben Franklin smoked all the weed. He invented an almanac for crying out loud. Right, the national bird is the bald eagle. What bird did Ben Franklin want for the national bird? Turkey. Turkey. Stoner. Ben, the eagle flies graceful, free and majestic above the clouds. Yeah, but you can eat a turkey, brother. And there's John Hancock. Shit, I'll sign for that. I'm starving. Last one. There's a lot of myths about pot smokers. A lot of myths. Here's the biggest myth. Pot smokers never do anything. You guys never do anything. You guys are lazy. Right, we never do anything. Like, throw the world's biggest fucking hip festival. Or, right? Or win 20 gold medals in three Olympics. You know what I'm saying? Or become president. By the way, never smoke weed with an Olympic swimmer. Their lungs are fucking huge. My whole point is I like to smoke a joint and then do something, right? Smoke a joint and write a song. Smoke a joint and go to Hymn Fest. Smoke a joint and get some booty. That's my favorite. You know what I'm talking about. The Smokey Pokey is my favorite game. You know where I'm coming from. Do the Smokey Pokey and you smack that ass around. That's what it's all about. Put your fingers in. All right, thanks a lot, everybody. Have a wonderful hit fest. Thank you very much. Buy my CD. Oh, that is a funny man, and that is a real marijuana activist, ladies and gentlemen. They don't come any better than that. And now we are going to return to 